Wireless and Latitude Festivals are also expected to go ahead this summer as long as the government lifts coronavirus rules as planned on June 21, organizers have said. Festival Republic has cancellation insurance for both, which are due to take place on July 2-4 in London and July 22-25 in Suffolk, but hopes it won't be needed. Camp Festival organizer Rob DeBank also confirmed today that the family-friendly festival at Lulworth Castle in Dorset is still due to take place from July 29 to August 1. Wilderness has also revealed it will go ahead in Oxfordshire from August 5 to 8, saying on Twitter, the sweetest moments are worth waiting for, we've missed you. And Creamfields confirmed it will be happening in Cheshire from August 26 to 29, in a tweet saying, we're gearing up to welcome you all to the party of the summer. This leaves BST Hyde Park, due to take place in London from July 9th to 10th, as the only planned major festival in England yet to confirm it is still set to happen this summer. It comes as Festival Republic's managing director said he is very confident that its biggest festival reading and leads will go ahead as planned on August 27th to 29th. Melvin Benn said crowds attending the events are likely to be asked to show an NHS app carrying a COVID-19 vaccine or be tested so they can carry a COVID-free status. He said he was confident in projections that everyone will have received a first jab by June 21st and a second by August 9th, three weeks in advance of Reading and Leeds. The announcement on Reading and Leeds has given the UK festival industry a major boost, sparking hopes that other outdoor shows will now go ahead this summer. The bank said, there is literally nothing, my wife, Josie and I like more in life than standing in a field surrounded by family and friends, dressed in daft outfits dancing to amazing bands and DJs and Mr. Tumble. That's exactly what we plan to be doing at Camp Bastival in 154 days, 15 minutes, and 27 minutes, not that we're counting. It follows Glastonbury due to have been on June 23 to 27 being cancelled for a second year in a row after organizers said they had tried to move heaven and earth. The Isle of Wight Festival, due to take place on June 17 to 20, is the only major music festival in England currently scheduled before the June 21 date. Its organizers said this week that they were exploring our options and will issue an update next week. This year's reading and leads lineup includes Stormzy, Liam Gallagher, and Louis Capaldi, with organizers working with the government to ensure it can happen. Mr. Ben told Radio 4's PM program, The one thing that we can say about the Prime Minister is that in terms of the vaccination rollout, almost unique in the world, he has got it right. And I applaud him for that, and I am going to hold his feet to the fire on it. And I think there's going to be 200,000 young people holding his feet to the fire on that position as well. We see the numbers daily. It looks like everybody would have received a first vaccine by June 21st, very comfortably. It looks like everybody would have received the second vaccine on the numbers that are being projected by August 9th. Reading and Leeds Festival are three weeks later than that. I've got every expectation that the Prime Minister will deliver on his word. He's running the country, he's got every resource in the country available to him, and I'm willing to accept his word. The sudden surge of interest in reading and leads from music fans caused the website to crash yesterday soon after the announcement that it was going ahead. Those trying to buy tickets or read up on the festival were met with a message saying, here are establishing a database connection, but it later returned online.